Introducing the challenger, the Iron Sheik. The Iron Sheik, Iran, Iran, Iran. It was very easy to hate. Oh, look oh, at that. Good. Oh, he's going to break his back. Sheik gave them maybe the highest element of a heel. Sheik now going to work. Oh, oh. It's easy to knock. I can be so different. Indeed, the camel punch of mine. I'm sure that's all in zero. Caltro did the right thing at the right time and became larger than life. My understanding is that when the Sheik first started professional wrestling, it was more about his history as an athlete, his Olympic wrestling. He wore a singlet. I said, I'm tired. I don't want to work a good guy anymore. I want to be a bad guy. The Iron Sheik completely changed his physical appearance, and he became the Iron Sheik. The Iron Sheik! Iran! 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 And everybody wanted to come and see him and hoping that he'd get beat up. Bunch of stupid American here. God, hey, God, sick Ramming down across the back. Every territory in the United States wanted the Iron Sheik to be their top bad guy. USA, I, oh. Now in the ring we have the Iron Sheik. Very, very painful hole. He's really pulling back on that man's chin. One of the rather unusual methods that you use in your training is the use of some sort of Persian clubs, correct? Exactly. Lifts those 75 pound clubs and begins to twirl them about. Not to use this term lightly, but unbelievable strength. None of us could do it. We all tried. The damn things were so heavy, and I tried a couple times, I thought I was gonna break my wrist. I used to watch she. Tyree and they're doing them freaking clubs. Uh, as you look at the controversial foot gear, take note of the shoes and notice those hooks. I found some special shoemaker. I tell him I'd walk to him, can you make the boots like that for me? He said, yeah, and then I'll get it. These are presumably or ostensibly decorations. Look at it now, setting it up, pulling the arms back. Once he gets him, he sets rocks back. It's give up time. Six back, goodbye, that's it. He's got it cinched. This is undoubtedly it. Look at him pulling on that neck. Oh, he's gonna break his back. He just had a way of doing it. It was so infuriating. Oh, my. Perhaps one of the most sadistic men in professional wrestling today. He is indeed one of the great World Wrestling Federation athletes. However, again, a lot of people do not like the Iron Sheik. And you people shut up and don't call USA, USA, USA is a sick country. The heat that the Sheik had, and I, the word I like to use is bless story. The Iron Sheik. Because he was so brash and bold and braggadocio, it was opposite our views. It was easy to not like him. He was so different. Introducing first to my left, the challenger. The Iron Sheik. Iron Sheik not wasting any time going to work on that neck area. I was in the crowd at the Garden the night the Iron Sheik defeated Bob Backlund, and it was just stunning. Oh! Go for the roll-up. He got it with the roll-up. There's the bridge. No! Oh. Sheik now going for the camel clutch. Now he's got it. He hooked back and back. He's right in the center of the ring. And Backlund's got a bad neck. Pull on it. Oh, pull on it. And the new World Wrestling Federation Heavyweight Champion, the Iron Sheik. And Sheik walked out of there with that title, and we basically usher in a new era. What happened to Bob Buckley? What happened to his arm? What happened to his shoulder? Now the bring the Hulk Hogan. There he is, Hulkamania. Take a look at this. You go bring that animal, Hulk Hogan, for no reason, because I don't know the guy, I never met the guy. Vern Gagne in particular was very resentful of this because 
Until very recently, Hulk Hogan had been working for him. Go out there, break his leg, and bring the title back to Minnesota. I'll give you $100,000. Vern got to him and said, if you break Hulk Hogan's leg, I'll give you 100 grand. And it was already over. Once I got out of the camel clutch and back him in the turnbuckle, the only thing left to do was drop the leg on You have arrived, Hulk Hogan. Have you never seen anything as beautiful as this, Meiji? This belt is part of yours, too. Hulk Hogan, I'm not done with you. I take you tonight from one of your people. Friends, I'm telling you. People were so happy that that son of a bitch no longer had that world title. With the, all the heat and mad feelings that the fans had for the Iron Sheik, that just made that win by Hulk Hogan even greater. I could stand up here for many, many hours talking about the Iron Sheik. Oh, to, to the Holy Fame was a great feeling. And people was delighted. They look, they were so excited, very happy to see me. I used to drive the truck, put on the ring, pick up the ring, yeah. And I was referee. I pay my due. You know, it was Sheik's moment in the sun, and Sheik got exactly what he deserved. I made it to the Hollywood, yeah. And a special thanks to Mr. Sander Sander and all WWE and it's a world man. Why wouldn't it? My God, man, you sacrificed your whole life and your family to get a friggin' ring? Peace! Yeah! Pink, you got a telephone call. From Tehran, Iran, the Iron Sheik. Devastating suplex. Oh, what a boot. And you people shut up and don't call USA. USA is a sick country. Perhaps one of the most sadistic men in professional wrestling today. He nailed him with a cane. Well, on to this day, probably one of the biggest heroes in our business. You go bring that animal, Hulk Hogan, for no reason. I think he's made his mark in history as one of the innovators, one of the legit bad guys that people love to hate. The cosmic clock on the case of the Iron Sheik. He's a bad guy, but I love him. There's a lot of you out there that do too. Like all of us love him. And now today, he's so respected. To this day, you see the Iron Sheik and there's no one like him.